Hi guys, welcome to Your Turn to Die. So this is pretty much all I've seen on Twitter for the last like week and a half. And it's kind of weird because people say there's a lot of similarities to Witch's Heart, but also Dane Rampa, Phoenix Wright, uh, Zero Escape, and it's basically just a death game. And since that happens to be my specialty, I have to play, obviously. Hey. Hiya. Just around a question, but you know what a majority vote is. Uh, yes, obviously. <laughs> no need to get mad. It's helpful to start conversations with an easy question. Oh, looks like somebody's over there. I love majority votes. They represent the way democracy should be, following the will of the people. It's a method that minimizes conflict. No, not really. I hate majority votes. They're just a way to silence the minority. It only makes more darkness build in the shadows. <sighs> Sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support? Mr. Blue's or Mrs. Red's? See, it is true. The, the minority is silenced with the majority vote. So I have to agree with Mrs. Red. Oh. I killed a man. Oh, no. Ah, he died. But good for you. Your opinion had more supporters. With that experience, your sides learned the terror of a majority vote. Huh? If that makes you happy, then don't you have to recognize the appeal of majority votes? Sure is complicated. Hmm? What's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh, that won't get you anywhere, okay? It's what the game's all about. You don't look pleased, huh? Alright, if you insist, let's hold a, vote. hold a vote. Your opinion versus mine. Okay then, let's go. Oh. Am I falling? I'm guessing I'm falling. Um, it appears that the game has crashed. Oh. Wait. Oh, I have to use my mouse. Okay. Ow, my ears. Fuck, that was really loud. Ugh. I had a weird dream. My jaw's sore. Because I was sleeping with my head on the desk. This late already? I have to go home. Better hurry. Whoa, it's completely... it's gone completely dark. Hello, Sarah. Touch spots that look interesting to investigate. Okay, so I do have to use my... I thought it was a regular RPG Maker game. My bad. The Campus Pond. There's a rumor that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you. Could be a great thing to a loner. Why is there a light on? The lights are on. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Seeing the school like this, it feels totally different at night. The lights. I have to walk home when it's this dark? Yep, we do. But let's check this. So... Samurai-yona. I'm guessing that's the school. Oh wait, no, never mind. Uh, Sarah Chidoyuan. 5-5, five, five, wait, not listed. This person is confirmed as a student of the school, Sonobeno High School principal. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go home. Front gate of the school can't go home without going through it. I don't want to leave yet. Okay. Uh, well, who's that? Someone's there.
What you doing, Sarah? Oh, thank God. Joe. <laughs> what a normal name for once. Joe. Joe Tazuna, or rather, Joe, my classmate to school. We often found ourselves together. He stuck around this late for clubs? I was going to wither up from waiting. Well, it's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Something to tell me? My thanks. Thanks for what I wonder. Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Ryoko. Right. She's such a good girl. I moved. Cute, huh? Adorable. I ate a donor kebab in one bite today. I'm a real glutton. Oh my god, I just noticed he has a little dog in his pocket. And he has a bone bracelet. I'm guessing you really like dogs. A whole donor kebab. Wait, you went on a date? Ha <laughs> ha was it on until just a second ago. I came back to school so I could brag about it to you. You should have just gone home. Alright, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sarah. Oh. Path home. This really is like Phoenix, right? And then Ryoko and I finally... How long even is this story? You listening? We made huge progress. This guy is such a pain. Did you kiss or what? Get, don't be stupid. Doing that on the first date, they call people like that monsters. We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? Listen, you're the real creep right there. That's moving way too fast. I mean, it was mostly that I fell in a ditch and she was helping me out, but okay, that's acceptable. How gaudy you look. You're awfully shy. Uh, gaudy, this ain't. I'm hurt, man. That seriously gets to me. Damn it. Maybe I should go back to cut crew like uh, crew cut in, like in middle school. And now he started moping. Well, there's a missing poster. A poster warning to watch out for strangers. Okay. Uh, another poster. Light. A faint street light illuminates the area. I've rarely ever walked home at this hour. It feels really dark. What's up? Wanna hold hands? You have a girlfriend. Eh? No. I'm just kidding. Don't actually get mad at me. For real talk, wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend? You can't sleep, right? Because of your stalker. Oh. Is that why you always go home with me? D dummy, I just wanted to brag. Thank you. For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, I won't stop you. Alright, let's mosey along now. Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's somebody there. I have to run. Oh, Jesus. Joe, run! Huh? Is this a horror game? Because I'm, I'm actually very scared now. Phew. We made it home. It's okay. It should be fine now that we're here. Joe. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Am I going to? What if he kills me someday? I'm not going to let that happen, okay? Joe. Call on me. Anytime. I'll come with a boatload of freshmen. That guy was staring, and it seemed like he was trying to talk to me. Well, your parents are waiting, Sarah. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Thank you. It's all good. See you tomorrow, at school. And not in some completely weird facility where we're all going to have to kill each other. Okay, I guess I'll go in. Hmm? The house lights aren't on? Oh no, he's in the house. I can see the living room through the window, but the lights aren't on. House nameplate. Fancy light lamp. It's not a power outage. Oh god, he's in there, isn't he? <sighs> My good old front door. The door's unlocked. I really don't want to do this. 
I like really don't want to do this. It's dark. Why aren't all the lights on? Mom? Dad, are you not home? The shrubbery has fallen. Something's weird about the house. Over here is the bathroom. Living room. Normally, Mom would be in here watching TV and waiting for me. Back there is the door to my parents' room. Well, let's check out the living room first, I guess. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. I'll turn on the lights. I'm guessing the lights are over here. The light switch. Turn on the lights. Mm, turn on the lights. Oh no. Oh no. Also, again, that fucking noise. Jesus Christ, that is so loud. Mom? Mom! Mom, hang in there. She's breathing. Looks like she's fainted. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, grab the key. To the room. Why is this here? Uh, door to the hallway. Uh, door leading to my parents' room. I guess move to the hallway? Sir, Joe, what are you doing here? Please help, my mom's collapsed. Stay calm. Did you call the hospital? The cops? Not yet. I need I need to call. Joe, can you please help her out? She's going into panic. I'll handle it. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Joe started to make a call. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts. But I need to do something. Something. Oh, here's the bathroom. Okay, so... Let's go to the second floor room, I guess. Oh, this is fucked up. They're gonna be waiting for me in here. It's locked. Why would it be locked? This is my room. The door opened. <sighs> you know what? No. Go back to the hallway. Like, where's Joe? Seriously, where's Joe now? He's probably just in the hallway doing the call, so I have to go to the room. Dang it. I really don't want to. And I know I have to. Dad? Dad, are you here? Why would he be in his in your room? Why would, the, would he be in a room that's locked? Why would you show me and outline her character? Mom collapsed. Dad, where are... Oh, no. Where is this? I wonder. Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? Remember myself. I'm Sarah, an incredibly normal person attending school. Good. Start with what you know best. Remember the situation. I think I went home. Right, and then Mom. Mom! <laughs> I quickly tried to sit up, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? Think calmly. Right now, it seems like I'm lying down. On a bed, maybe? What is this thing on my head? Touch it to check. I fearfully touched my head. It was some kind of belt or machine. Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way. What's the meaning of this? My temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. Where is this? Somebody! I had no freedom to move. Beside my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. All I could move was my right arm. Someone. I was about to scream, then went quiet. The stalker. He'd harmed my mom. 
and he brought me here. I wonder, am I going to be killed? Sarah, are you there? That voice, Joe. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? A phone? Ask Joe. Joe, is that yours ringing? Huh? You're right. Something in my pockets. Here. Hello? Whoever you are, help us. Beginning voiced guidance. Oh, goddammit. Huh? The first trial will now begin. After a certain amount of time, which you can use however you like, the class trial will begin. Sarah and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the devices on the bed will activate. And your bodies will be crushed with a thud. But... By all means, please enjoy this thrill with all your body and soul. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. And note that there's only one key, so please discuss who will use it. What the heck is this? The first trial? We'll die in five minutes? What are we gonna do? There's no time to fret about that. Uh, search pocket. I searched my pocket with my free hand, but found nothing. Joe, what do you got? Check your clothes. Yikes. When I took the phone from my pocket, I might have dropped something. No way, pick it up. Got it. Grab it, it's the key. Alright. Oh, uh, use the key. Joe, I will sacrifice myself for you. Hurry and use that key. You sure? If I do, you'll... If the voice was telling the truth, I might die. But, Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. Got it. I'll use it. Then I'll save you too, definitely. Oh. Damn it, that took some time. I need to save Sarah somehow. Oh. Uh, 1374 is written on the wall. Uh, well, obviously we have to go over here. Yes, mess with it. What? Why was four already there? Did it just make a sound and that's it? No, don't mess with it anymore. Uh, green lock. Oh, I only have the red key. Hold on, what's this? Sandpaper hit the head in front of the ceiling. What is it? What is the stupid thing? Oh, uh, use. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, my best friend Sarah's tying down with green belts. Is this the right time to be gazing at me? Uh, uh. Um. Mess with it, yes. Maybe. Four. Seven. Three. One? Damn it. Oh, gee, I'm. Uh, what am I supposed to do? An iron door. Door isn't locked. Can't leave Sarah behind. Use the red key. Too big to fit. Uh, in that case, did I sh did a bit shave off at the end of the key? Oh, uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use the key. I didn't notice the, the time limit until, like, it was, like, at 40 seconds. It's unlocked. Really? I'll remove these now. Thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door here. Let's get out of here pronto. Wait, Joe. Damn it, it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Uh, go along the wall. Left end is a dead end. Maybe we can... Or seems we can only go right. I mean it, Sarah. Don't let us get separated. Right. We kept going straight ahead. But as far as we walked, we didn't see any light. It seemed to be a very long hallway. 
Or maybe we weren't advancing at all. Joe? Use the phone for light. The phone you used earlier, could you try using that to light the way? Nice one, Sarah. Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? I left it back there. You know, I won't blame you. It was a very high, uh, high stake situation. Guess that's that then. What can give us some light? We were searching ourselves when suddenly... What? Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? No, we're falling? The floor gave way. How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my senses growing distant. Hey, get up. Hello? You can't sit there stupefied forever, miss. Huh? Where is this? Beats me. Uh... I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. People! <laughs> Hello, punk lady. Who the hell are you guys? Where is even- where even is this? I we've got any ideas ourselves. Calm down, lady. Is there no one here who can explain? Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to take any notice of me. What in the world is happening? Well, let's check out you. Some slightly calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? Feels like we're wrapped up in something outrageous. Yeah, so it appears so. Huh? Have we seen this person somewhere? Oh no. Why do you have a bucket on your head? The girl squatting seems terribly frightened. Did something happen? Looking right, I notice an especially restless woman. Gah, we've been abducted by some crazy assholes. Be quiet, meow. Do not scream in my ear, woof. Wait a second. What? Beanie Man. Ash, is that you? Hey now, fighting's no good. I can feel the tension in the air. There's even a grade school age kid? In the center, the discussion happening centered around a single man. Now hold on a second, we should confirm what each of us knows. That's all well and good, but I don't even know where this is. I had quite a terrible experience earlier, so I can't remain calm. Wahahaha! <laughs> they seem pretty confused. Huh? Joe? He's also wearing one of those collars. With a shiver, I touched my own neck. There was something. Yep. A collar? Can't get it off. Everyone here had a collar put on them. Well, I guess, uh... The discussion's still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. All the... There are 11 people here, including myself. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he has he not noticed I'm awake? Uh, run up and punch Joe. Joe! Ow! Maybe that was too much force. Sarah, you are a sociopath. But actually, I guess I'm the sociopath because I'm the one who did it. Joe, so you're okay? Who are you? Oh no, Joe! What? What kind of joke was that? What are you saying? I'm Sarah. Did you forget your own friend's face? Don't tell me. He's seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Could you be the Sarah who's a terrible swimmer? What? What? Joe, this is no time for jokes. My bad, my bad, my. <laughs> Hmm. Joe and Sarah, huh? You two are friends? Uh, yeah, we are. Thanks for that. Joe here wasn't speaking up, see. 
Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. All right, everybody, listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introductions? Should ease this... E should ease the suspicion a little, at least. Introductions, you say? What else can we do, right? Hey, Sarah? Uh, you're asking me? Uh, I mean, I support it. I understand why. Like, getting to know the people around you is probably the best way not to kill each other, even though we're probably going to end up killing each other. So I support it. True. I want to confirm our situation. See, the calm ones know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sarah. When? 